Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another cooking video game. You guys enjoyed the last cooking videos, and I figured we'd uh, continue it on. By the way, if you want to see, like, IRL me cooking, lots of food, stuff like that, everybody's always like, make cooking videos. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at Jehovah's Witness. Should be linked in the description. Anyways, guys, the developers of this game um, sent this out to me and said, hey, we think you might like our stuff, so we're here. It is called Chef. My name's Chef. And we're going to check it out. I've never played it before. Like, whatsoever. Tutorial, anything. So, we're going... Oh, oh, what are we going to... Oh, my. There's all kind of... Oh, I like that beard. Hair. I don't have much of it left. That's... Sure. We'll go with that. Holy ghost. All these guys are really pale. Yellow. We'll go with that, I guess. You know what? I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead. Lots of character custom customization available there. Alright, looks like we need to rent a, a restaurant. Lots available. Um, weekly rent is 767. Oh, wait, never mind. There's, there's cheaper as well. So this is, okay, I thought they were like in chronological. Obviously not. Get a cheapo first, right? <laughs> Excuse me. So the rent. Hmm. You know, we'll just go with this cheapo for now. Four hundred eighty-six dollars a month. Uh, you'll be able to change later at any time, but after spending your budget on furniture and staff, you probably won't be able to afford a different restaurant for some time. Yeah, let's start small. Let's start small. Let's see what we can do. Alright. This is the main HUD. All relevant information and panels can be accessed from here. You can use a WAST or bring your mouse to the edge of the screen and move the camera. You can use Q and E to rotate it. Okay. Q and E rotate. WASD. And then if I get the... My mouse carries over to my other monitor, so it'd probably be just better to use... Okay. Alright. Got it. Got it. All right. Is we going to get any tutorial? These cars look nice. And we can zoom with the scrolly wheelie. Let's take let's take a look around our restaurant here first, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a beautiful uh, 1,500 square foot building here with fantastic uh, garden features all around the building. Ample parking, day or night. Peewish, man. Um... Direct access to one of the pop most popular roads here. Old Kentucky Street. Anyways, alright, so... Wow, this really just throws you right into it. Okay, so this might be rough, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the world of cooking professionals. The time has come to set up your restaurant. Prepare yourself for a journey in endless shifts, annoying customers, and preposterous taxation. You'd better start by furnishing your place with a fuel a few tools and tables. You don't want people to eat frozen food off the floor, don't you? I'm on it. I already know everything. Don't bother me. No, I'm on it. Remember, on top, on the top left area of the screen may appear alerts of different nature. Their tool tips uh, could help you understand what's wrong or what has to be done, and clicking on them will direct you to the panel in which you need to do things. Ah, cool. Something else? Now, let's start by opening the furnishing panel. You can open it by clicking on this button in the lower left area of the screen. It's one of the red ones. But before that, read the tutorial at the center of the screen. All right. Read, read the tutorial at the center of the screen. Decisions available. Open furnishing panel. Some decisions that can be activated. Click here to open the policies panel. I'm guessing this is the policies panel. No. This is the policies and decisions screen. Here you'll be able to set up policies for your restaurant. If you want to learn more about them, just hover your mouse over the one you'd like to know more about and then read the tooltip. Use them to get rid of unwanted customer categories and focus on the best ones. Be careful with them. You can't hope at the beginning to spend thousands on advertising. They could easily they could easily lead to bankrupt, okay? Decisions are something different. They have Decisions are something different. They have an immediate effect, but only 
can be activated if certain requirements are met. Their effects are varied, ranging from unlocking new tools to search for people to hire. OBKB. Billboard advertisements. Design billboards aimed at families. 50% lower class family customers, 25% upper class family, and down 19% cheapskate customers. So that will help get the cheapskates out. Okay. Wow, this is very in depth. But I don't think we should. I don't. Do we need to. Internet investment? Oh, it even has one over here. Yes, we, I mean, we're not going to need to spend any money on ads. We don't even have like a kitchen built or anything. Oh my lanta. All right, furnishing panel. This is the furnishing screen. You now need to place a counter in the kitchen. Follow the tutorial instructions to learn how to place items. Let's start with a counter. A moment. A countertop, eh? This furnishing panel here, you can change the color of the floor, walls, blah, blah, blah. Countertop, yeah, we need that. Be able to buy cooking tools, tables, and various decorations. Those are very useful, but be careful not to spend too much. Decoration are useful along cleaning policies. Decoration are useful along cleaning policies to increase what to increase the atmosphere rating of the oh decorations are are useful along with cleaning policies to increase okay this is hard English for me. To sell something, just select the item with the furnishing panel open, then the sell button will appear. Selling item has no penalties if you buy and sell them without closing the furnishing panel. Oh, interesting. All right, so we need a counter. So I'm guessing, yeah, this be our kitchen. Oh, look, it's me. It's a me, Mario. No. All right, so... Now do they like cost more? Nope, they're all the same based price wise. Now how do we rotate this Z or X to rotate the preview? Oh, the preview, okay. And right click rotates that, very good. So I'm wondering if we need a counter in front of the window here? That would make sense to me. Good, the counter is in place. On counters, your chefs will handle most preparations and then they will put them in the cooking tool they require. Let's place a cooker, I'm on it. Cooker being an oven, I would think. Let's uh, put the oven. Can't have it up against the wall, I guess. Put the oven like right next to it. Now you have a cooker. Your chefs will be able to put prepared recipes into them and just go prepare something else without the need of constantly looking at them. Okay. Now you need to add at least four tables. Open the Respective section of furnishing panel, okay. Four tables. Ah. Ah. 200 year, year, pounds, euros, what are those? I don't know. I don't really know. So we got two, so the two seaters are the same price and the four seaters are the same price. I like the wood style. These two match, so let's go with. Oh, wait, we can change colors. Oh, my lordy. What do I like? Square tables or. These are some pretty. Uh, you know what? We're just going to leave them uh, basic, I guess. So let's put the seating fairly close to the. We don't need it big right now. Where's the front door? Right there. Let's put some two tops in here. So it says we need four tables minimum. Let's do that and then let's do two big tables. Hold on. Oh, I didn't center that. It's gonna bother me. Okay, that's center. Uh, now you have some tables. Feel free to add some more if you wish to avoid spending too much. It wouldn't be, it won't be easy to make money at the beginning. What now? Now let's head to the menu panel. It's time to add into the recipes you'll prepare. Okay. But first, how do, how do I, I don't, I don't want this selected anymore. 
I want to sell that table. There, okay, I can just move it. Perfect. Perfecto. Alright, menu. Good! Now pay close attention to the tutorial to learn about recipes. Then fill the menu with at least six recipes. Recipes time. This is the menu of your restaurant. Using the scroll view on the right, you can add recipes to the menu and customers will be able to order them. I just thought, I hope my microphone's on. It's on, right? Yeah, we should be good. Lol. Uh, I had it turned off earlier, so I just had that freak out. Sorry to break the wall. Um, okay. All right, cool. You can freely adjust the recipes. Feel free to put pretty much anything at $5. Since it's a good price, anyone will be willing to pay. Don't raise your prices too much or people won't come in. So basically, it's saying start at 5. You need proper tools to add recipes to the menu. You can't fry without a fryer. You can't roast without an oven. Most require most recipes require at least two tools. The counter is required in most cases, I would assume, yeah. Pay attention to the tags of the recipes in your menu because they can they can change the dynamic perk of your restaurant. The tag, is it talking about this? Okay. So lower class families don't like vegetarian meals. Blue collar families don't like vegetarian meals. Sounds about right. Dynamic perks define the offer of your restaurant. Bringing more customers belonging to certain categories while decreasing others, you can't make everyone happy. But attracting as many customers as possible may be very important. Wow, this sounds like it's going to be really in-depth. In I like it. All right, so this is my current menu right here. All we have is a quiche, roasted onions in cheese sauce, and a tortilla de... Patate? I don't know. Potato? Tortilla? Patate? What the hell's patate? I can't like cheese, uh, vegetables, and okay. Lots of vegetarian stuff available right now. All right. Um. Wait a minute. Is this my? This is. Is this my? Are these just all the available? Poor offer. Small menu. What's going on? Maybe this isn't my menu because there's a lot of stuff here. Surely I don't have all this available yet, right? Like drag over? No. Add six recipes. Using the menu panel, add six recipes to your menu. Um, yeah, how do I do that though? Ooh, we definitely need beer. I'm not getting an option to like right click or anything. Can't drag it over. Double clicking doesn't work. Maybe just because I don't have. What's is that just the counter and an oven? So I have that. So I should be able to add that. Because this, I think it's saying I don't have. Whatever that may be. But all these I do. Right? I would assume that the red means I don't have it. Salads. Help. Shut up, phone. Shut up. Staff menu. Huh, I don't... Oh, now it's letting me. Okay. Wait, what? Why was I able to add that and nothing else? I am so confused. Okay. So the pies and stuff I can add, but nothing... What? Okay, now it's letting me. Okay, we're good. Okay, alright. Sorry, don't know what that was all about. So yeah, the things in red, I won't be able to drag. Alright, so the quiche, I guess let's put quiche on the menu. Why not? Uh, chicken breast with salad? Uh, hell yeah. Cod filet with salad? Sure. What is this? So that grilled steak, we need a barbecue. Maybe we go back to this and go here and figure out what do we have we have six thousand left 
I feel like a fryer is pretty important. I think I'm gonna buy a fryer. Okay, yeah, now we've got a fryer. What is this, a rice cooker? Fryer cylinder? Um. Oh, I didn't realize. This, is that like a flat top on top? I don't have a range. So now I have that. All right, we spent a lot of money, but is this a refrigerator? Probably need a refrigerator. I mean, that's just a safe bet, right? Let's put a refrigerator in there. What else do we have? Blender, microwave, grill, Uncle Bob. Same boring grill, but you can't just ignore a hundred years of history. So we've got a pretty good start here, I'd say. Maybe a microwave. About the only other thing. How much are they? Two hundred dollars. Let's kind of see what we can do with this first, though. I think let's back to the menu. So I don't. I didn't see a barbecue grill. Because you would think. Unless this would count. Boring grill, yeah, 350. Well, I guess we can go ahead and do a grill as well. We still got money. Can't fit that there. Alright, now can we? Yes, now we can have a grilled steak. Can we rearrange these? No. Alright, so we have to have at least six items. Let's get a... May as well do all three of these apps. I don't know if I'm actually going to have to, like... Good now. We can order something that's the restaurant it's time to hire a waiter. Since we'll be busy in the kitchen, but you can also add more recipes if you want. How can I hire people? Open the staff panel. Duh! You can find its button on the lower left area of the screen. I'll meet you there. Staff. No? Is that not? Uh, here we are. The staff panel. The tutorial will tell you anything you need to know about it. Just remember not to hire too many people for now. Yeah, that would make sense. Let's see who's available. Welcome to staff. People the place that allows you to hire and fire people with no remorse. You can choose person. You can choose personal personnel. Jesus, to hire using the scroll view on the right. Each staff member will have a certain daily wage and different skills. Be careful with what you hire. You won't probably need a second chef at the beginning. All right, good to know. So we just need a server. So she's slow. But she's also $20 cheaper. What? What is this professional? Yeah, let's spend the money and get the girl that is... Because she's... Julita would work, but Linnell is a little bit better. Good, now you can serve your customers. Time to heed to the recipe editor and learn about creating new recipes. Its button is on the lower left area of the screen, just like the others. The recipe editor? Oh my. Recipe editor? Uh-oh. Hello? Don't tell me. Oh god, I thought I broke the game again. Like every cooking game I play, I break. Now pay close attention to the tutorial because creating recipes is not an easy task. After you've learned everything, create your own first recipe. Did you read everything? No. Finish the recipe if you want. I'll let you wait in the policies and decision panel. If you, uh, if you lost, you can use the alert on the top left of the screen to see what you have to do. When you are done, just like for the panels, head to the lower part of the screen. Okay. As an editor, you'll be able to create your own unique recipes with combining skills and ingredients you've unlocked. Start the process. You need to select a template, which will be the foundation of your recipe. Different templates can be used in different sections of the menu. Remember that every category. So much reading, dude. To create a good recipe, you'll have to focus on two things. Taste, balancing, and aroma matching. 
Balancing the taste of the recipe is not easy. Some tastes balance each other while others reinforce one another. Use me on their icons to learn more about them or just play a little with the editor to find things out by yourself. Oh my lord. You can create aroma matchings in a recipe by combining two ingredients that have a match. You can click on an ingredient to check its matches. Light green means it's a decent match. Dark green means it's a good one. Light blue is a terrific match. But be careful. Each mismatch will confer a slight penalty to the recipe evaluation. While ingredients without any single match give a strong penalty. My lord. Your skill will have deep influence on this editor, allowing you to work with more templates, reduce costs, improve the evaluation, and reduce the overall cooking time. You should also unlock more ingredients in the ingredient panel as you progress to most advanced phases of the game. You will also be able to access good and high quality ingredients which provide bonuses to overall evaluation of your recipe. Holy lord! Antipur recipe... Uh... Uh... Buck... Lavu. That's the name of our... New recipe. Choose a template. Um... Grilled meat. I like I like grilled meat. We're gonna make a grilled meat. Yeah, sure. Appetizer. Oh my lord. Okay. Um, Dad. Grilled meat. So let's start with a meat, probably, right? Prawns. Why is the muscles lighting up when I? Select prawns. Okay. Um, prawns and garlic. And tomatoes. What goes down here? What is happening? What's this mean? Is that good or bad? Black pepper and basil. Okay, uh, and a beer? God, I don't know. I'm scared right now, dude. Fruit? No fruit, dude. Ketchup? Alright, that, that's it. That's it. That's all I want to do. Now what do I do? A clavu. Save. Save recipe. Okay, I don't know if that worked or not. I'm terrified. Is Bucklevu? It is. It's on. It's on here now. Lol. I want to compare it to other recipes now. Let's see. Price and time. Ooh, Bucklevu takes a long time. Rip. Maybe that's a bad thing. I don't know. Let's put Buckle on the... I don't care. Alright. So we've got that. Let's put a couple more... A couple more main courses on here. Roasted turkey? Holy lord. We should probably keep it pretty simple for now. But... Let's put, a, let's put one... pasta on here salads I don't know if I'm going too big tomato soup chocolate chip cookies boom all right that that's gonna be our damn menu Bucklevu cost $500. $5. 
Uh, quiche. So this is what it cost me. Maybe that's what it cost me. I don't know. So I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna like severely hurt myself if I underprice some of this stuff. Roasted onions and cheese sauce. Like, let's make that like cheap, dude. A tortilla, three dollars. Bucklevu is our main item there. Chicken breast with salad only costs us ninety-eight cents. I don't know, dude. Cod filet. Five fifty, grilled steak, seven fifty. That's a pretty good price for a steak. Turkey and onions, six dollars. Italian pasta, five dollars. A light salad, two fifty. Three dollars. Oops. Cod salad. Uh. Three dollars as well. Tomato soup. Two dollars. Chocolate chip cookies. Damn, dollar seventy-four. Three dollars. Boom! Menu's done, guys. Alright, now how do we open our When you're done with custom recipes, look at the red button called policies and decisions to open the policies manual. Always pay attention to the alert telling you what new decisions may be available. You can use them to unlock new items or special bonuses. Okay, now that you can, see, now as you can see, there's a decision that can be activated. It's time to open the restaurant. Let's see what you. Okay, let's do it. Skip tutorial. No, furnishing contract. Fifty popularity needed. Unlocked by contact the world famous Swedish brand Ikoa. <laughs> Ikoa. Okay, so these are my. Okay. Open the restaurant. Let's do it. Pay a hiring agency. $500 pay an agency to find new suitable staff members is the best thing to do if you're in dire need of waiters or chefs. Put a job offer in the newspaper. That sounds better. I, I'm not like in a dire need. Did I open? What did I just do? Are we open? Because I clicked that little thing. Oh God, what's happening? Decisions available. Let's just ask around for now. We don't really need... Wait, if I do this, does, let's watch our money. 4860. Yes, okay, that actually... I don't care about that. Other stuffs. Cockroach protein. Oh my, what? Negative 50 balance at the end of the week to keep this policy active. Hell to the king rat. What? Cleaning turns. Every day one of the chefs will stay for an additional hour. Yes, definitely. Toilet cleaning. Organic wall paint. Ew. You need but a little effort and money to raise your toilets. Hygiene above medical standards. Dun, 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 dun. Oh man. So it sounds like these are like the easy. The middle ones are good. Is that how we open? Our hour to. Uh oh. I think we have our first customer coming. Oh lord. What's gonna happen? What 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 just happened? Oh my. Oh that's my staff. Oh gosh, we got our first table. Okay, here we go. We got a four top for our first table. Oh lordy. Oh lordy. I hope we're ready for this. So it looks okay, that's cool. So we'll be able to speed this up once we figure stuff out. So they're looking at the menus, they're deciding what they want to do, man. Oh god, we already got I'm so nervous. 
Why am I so nervous? It's a video game. I'm nervous, though. Do we need to hire more staff? <laughs> do I need more tables? What do I do? I think this is going to be fun. I'm excited. All right. Got our sparkling kitchen just ready to go. No more customers as of right now. Oh, yeah, we're going to get a two top. Oh, my lord. This is intimidating. She's going to go back to the table and take their order, right? I guess I don't get drinks. Oh, did I not put drinks on the menu? Whoops. That's the only drink I can give. I can't... That's funny. There's nothing non-alcoholic. They take a long time. Scared. There we go. There we go. Taking their order. Here we go. About to serve our first guests. They're going to put us on Yelp. All right. Chef is cooking away. Cut that carrot up, bro. Oh, don't. Okay. Well, I would not advise that, but I guess you got to do what you got to do. Jesus, that is just not safe practice. Not safe practice at all. I love having the chef work in front of the window like that. I always like working at, at restaurants. The restaurant I worked at, uh, not the entire kitchen, but a large portion of the uh, food preparation was like this in front of a window where the guests could see you. And I like that. I feel like it kind of keeps you in check, you know? can't be back there picking your nose and stuff if you know the customers can see you and every time like since then if I go if I go out to eat I like to see the kitchen if I can't see the kitchen sometimes I'm a little scared you know it's a little sus come on oh there are they eating yet they have plates but no okay they don't have food come on bro shall we fast forward this let's fast forward I think we'll be all right Scared. Scared, Sarge. We're all scared, Sarge. Bam. Is she serving them? She's checking on them. Oh, now they're eating. They got their food. Let's hope they enjoy. I can't tell what they're eating. It kind of looks like they all got the pasta, but I could be wrong. Is there a way to, like, check what... Is he done cooking now? There's two tables that haven't been served, and he's just standing out there. <laughs> staring at people. Oh, Lord. More people. Oh, I'm scared. Stats. We haven't made any money yet. I'm scared, dude. I wish there was a way to, like, see your orders as they come in and stuff. Exactly what they're... Like, what's been ordered, what we're waiting on, who's eating what. That kind of thing. Oh, they just gave ratings, and... And I missed it. I feel like we need more staff. Available. Holy $150. Skill level low, but he's extra hands, you know? Rudolph, get over here, bro. Now maybe a chef as well. I don't kitchen staff. Do we really need it? Shut up, phone. Oh my god. All right. So what did we current this week? Furniture and tools. So we made $32 on food so far. Alright. Oh my god. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. 
You know what? I think I think we need more tables to start turning profit, though. Am I crazy? Hmm. I don't know if that's too close to the other one or not. It's letting me do it, so I guess not. Looks a little bit crowded, but... What the hell? It was there, and then it... Alright, I'd say that's good for now. Damn, they are not very pleased. But, I mean, we're bringing in money, right? Even if it's not the best. Sixty-nine, very nice. Oh, here we go. We got, like, okay. They like carbs. Carbs are the foundation of many cultures' diets. They dislike carbs. Carbs. I've seen a lot of people like carbs and shrimp. I mean, I guess adding more stuff to the menu isn't really going to adversely affect anything as far as I know. Maybe I'm wrong. We already have the tomato pasta, right? Italian tomato pasta, yeah. Fettuccine Alfredo, let's add that for like $7. Steak and potatoes. up and seat these peoples. Alright, let's put her in four times. Do we need more kitchen staff? I don't know. He's not overwhelmed. He keeps coming over here and standing, so I guess not. Why are they sad, dude? Why? Because they had to wait for her? Maybe? Satisfaction. Okay, look at my satisfaction. My satisfaction's good so far. Okay. I say so far, satisfaction's good. Right? I mean, it. Look, everybody's happy. We're getting four, four and a half stars at the worst right now. So that's good. Our staff's keeping up, it seems. Kitchen's keeping up fine. So far, so good, I, I would say, guys. What's this? This is Chef Advisor. Here you'll be able to see what customers think of your restaurant. Sometimes people will get angry and leave bad reviews without a real reason, but ultimately, it's a good tool to measure how you are doing. Remember that everyone with a smartphone can access Chef Advisor, so if your rating starts uh, dropping, you can expect fewer people to visit your place. Also, not everyone is interested in the same things. Workers expect good service, but food enthusiasts only care about how good your food is. Finding an ideal target for yourself is the best thing to do. After receiving 30 reviews, you will unlock Chef Advisor perks. Those perks will appear in the main Chef Advisor screen and affect customers' pool. Uh, having high ratings is always useful, but every customer group have unique priorities. Lower views for prices will scare cheapskates away, while food enthusiasts won't care that much. Interesting. Okay, so we've got two reviews so far, and they're good. Whoa, what an incredible night. You must go to this restaurant. 
What an incredible night. You must go to this restaurant. Oh, very similar, but very good. Price is five stars, so we could probably ra raise the prices a little bit in some categories if we really wanted to. Food's not the best rating so far, but the service is good. Okay. All right. I mean, it's it's something, right? It is what it is. Let's, um... What was that? Let's maybe put a little bit of money on uh, la, 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 social media. Let's see here. Create targeted ads aims at tourists. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's so forget the cheap skates out by doing that. Let's do those two for now. Very good. What time? What time is it? Is it two forty? Two forty-seven p.m. I wonder if you actually get like a, a dinner pop and stuff like that. That'd be interesting, because it seems like it's a little bit slower now that it's like past lunchtime. Yeah, we have empty. Ooh, we have an empty restaurant. Best place in town. Ooh, best place in town times two. Look at us go. Food rating still not the best though. So wonder, you know what? Let's hire a chef. Maybe that'll make our our food. I don't know. Maybe that'll make our food stuff go up. Our food rating. What am I trying to say? Food rating. Helen, Annabelle, Fanny. Let's hire Grace, I suppose. Decisions, decisions. Pay a hiring staff? Yeah, we probably should have done that, eh? Oh, it's 7.30. I think we missed the dinner rush, jeez. Only two tables? This is embarrassing. Should we add more food to the menu? Let's add desserts. Apple cream pie. Banana bread with honey. Three dollars. Make apple pie five bucks. Baked potato and roast potatoes. Where did that go? Salad soup sides, Jesus. Jacked potato. Three twenty-five. Is that expensive? That's pretty expensive. Oh well. Roasted potatoes. Oh, ninety-nine. <laughs> no, no, no. Two dollars. Let's make this two seventy-five for a baked potato. Sure. Something like that. Here we go. We're finally getting some people to come over. Television advertisement? $1,000? Jesus Lord. Target workers, target families, target vegans and vegetarians. I'm already targeting tourists and blue collar. So maybe we get some vegans and vegetarians in here? Jeez, I don't know. That sounds terrible. Make sure we have some good vegetarian choices. Like a tomato pasta. That we sell for... Uh, what, what? I already have some other pastas on here. Italian tomato pasta. So let's make that five dollars and bump the Italian pasta to six fettuccine alfredo seven yeah that sounds good to me butter pasta can be our cheapo all right 
Dun, 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 Here we go. Now we're getting some people in. <sighs> this is fun. Duh. Get in there. Order that food, bros. Oh, yeah. That's our dinner rush right here. It's getting busy. It's getting busy. 200 bucks on food so far today, which isn't bad. Beverages, we've only sold one beer. That's unfortunate. That is very, very unfortunate. Can I click on? No. So we're getting a broad spectrum of... Wait, is this just... What all those customer types want? Yeah, okay. I'm stupid. I thought those were the customers coming in. Steak and potatoes. Wasn't a big fan, eh? Alright. But was that... It was a blue collar. Ooh, if a blue collar person's coming in and not liking your steak and taters, you might have an issue there. Let's go ahead and speed this up. There's really nothing you can do in real time anyways, so I feel like may as well just speed her up. I was scared to do that at first, but it's not like other games really where you can like, okay, slow down, let me fix this real quick. As far as I can tell, at least. Could be wrong. Unlock and enter name here. Click here to unlock the input field on the left. Okay, there we go. What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about that restaurant name? 8.48 p.m. Lots of customers coming in right now. Those frowny faces. I don't like seeing that, dude. We're handling it though. We're handling it. It's it's getting handled. Flipping tables, you know. We're flipping tables right now, dude. It's nine o'clock. We still got people in the restaurant. Very interesting. What time? How do I, I do I close automatically? I don't know how that works. Do I like set my hours? I don't know. Best place in town. O M G. I will come again. Me and my grandma had a good dinner. She really liked the place. She pays for dinner, so we will come again. <laughs> Lol. Okay, our reviews right now. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's keep those reviews coming in. Daddy's Closet is... Very... It's off to a very good start, I would say. Need a rug? Start decorating. 50 bucks for a clock? Shut up, bone! Wait, am I still... Po okay, yeah, when you're in the editor mode, it's paused. Let's put it on eight times. I'm wondering if it's just going to close me out automatically at like 11 or something like that. I don't see it like in the decisions panel or anything. Policies, it's all the policies. Oh, I missed billboard and magazine advertisements. Now yeah, we'll skip those for now. It's 10.05 p.m. We are bumping. Let's see how she's gonna turn out. $464. Not bad. 500 bucks for the day. What was it like $200 a table? So we paid off a couple tables. Not too shabby. Damn, they're still coming in. 1042. Surely we close at 11. Surely. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't seem like anybody else is coming in now. Yeah.
All right, staff cooked it up. And we serve it. They both gave, like, eh faces. It's weird, they're giving eh faces, but, like, we're doing good based on the review. Like, our reviews are killing it. End of the day, a single day simulates an entire week of business. Ah. Ah. Wait, a day simulates a week? What? Why? Okay. All right. Well, our expenses. $6,100. Ouch. $280 on personnel. Rent, $486. Raw ingredients, $176. Maintenance, $317. Policies, $1,300. Furniture and tools, $3,300. And other two fifty. Ouch. And our earnings was $657. $60 in beverage sales, $650 in foods. With a total loss of $5,500. Okay, maybe I did go a little overboard. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed episode number one. Where it's basically just me learning the game and you guys riding along. I thought I was doing better than what I was. Episode 2 is going to get interesting. We'll see how this next day of business goes. I'll see you guys on that episode. Don't forget to leave some love and a dick in the comments.